Yeah, True Nature Foundation was um, founded about four years ago. The idea there is to eventually buy back breeding to reshape the uh, extinct aurochs, mm -hmm. the mother of all cattle mm -hmm. still nowadays, which went extinct in Poland for about uh, th almost 400 years. It's the same animal, by the way, you find on the in the rock art in the caves of uh, Altamira. Henry Kerkdijk Otten is our chairman mm -hmm. and he has a long-standing uh, experience already in a different kind of rewilding uh, uh, projects as well as uh, the, the back breeding of some primitive cattle races. Mm -hmm. Henry took the initiative to set up uh, um, the True Nature Foundation. Mm -hmm. So I think somewhere in September or October 2012 we came together and decided to set up this new foundation. Uh, Arend de Haas joined us. And Arend is an is a very experienced biologist, ecologist. Um, he mainly works in Africa nowadays, as he does over the last 10, 15 years, but also has a very sharp mind. So, um, so it, it's the three of us actually who are the executive board. And uh, on the non-executive board is uh, Hans Lenstra, who is a, a professor in, uh, in genetics, and mainly in cattle genetics. We have a, a, a great project uh, developed in the Valdezerias area in Spain. This is a newly formed nature reserve close to Valencia. It was started by uh, Carlos Alamo and uh, uh, Rodolfo Navarro. Mm -hmm. um, started about three years ago. Many swaths of land, rural land, gets abandoned in especially uh, South Europe and Eastern Europe. And for that reason we set up shop and we have local people, our program managers in Spain and Portugal at the one end, but also in Romania and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So and what we try to achieve there is together with our local contacts, local governments to set up these kind of projects. Also for a to redevelop um, um, their uh, local economies mm -hmm. and to help the local communities in those areas. Luis is our mainstay in, um, and our program manager in Spain. Together with Benigno uh, Varias, who you didn't meet, but he is mm -hmm. a very old hand, experienced hand when it comes to ecology and setting up projects in Spain. Mm -hmm. A very experienced guy, has a many, many relations and contact in this field. So together, those are our people in uh, Spain. Si me dais un trozo de zanahoria, a lo mejor se lo puedo dar desde aquí y luego ya el siguiente. Expert, ¿eh? Uh, big races in general, uh, it mm -hmm. could be uh, uh, cows or it can be wild horses or it can be bisons too. Just by the mere grazing and, and pooping, pooing, pooping, whatever, <laughs> uh, they're shitting around. <laughs> <laughs> By doing so, they they reshaping uh, um, the, the the countryside yeah, yeah, and the yeah. ecology by eating the shrubs and nibbling on the sh on the shrubs and the um, and herbs and trees. They are opening up the landscape and giving a grass, for instance, more chance to regrow. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're hoping for at Valdezerias as well. That uh, by doing so, the animals will, in a, in a way create their own food by opening the, uh, um, the soil, uh, 
Yeah. And by and allowing for more grass to grow there.